Hi guys, this is Asa Kaptis. Okay, this video is going to be the finished project for this uh, product from, you know, Asa Kaptis, my store. So uh, let, I haven't decided yet that I want to do album to go with this. Okay guys, but I probably have to, but I'm going to do it separate. Okay, so this, the processing video will have five part and with the finish video will be six videos. So, if you want to watch the whole thing, you can go watch. If you don't want to, just watch this uh, this video. That's fine. Okay. So this uh, my uh, product is I call it a wood TV box. It because it's huge. So if you can a uh, make mini album to go inside. I saw my guest team member Corinne. Creation, um, Korean creations. Oh my God, I love how she, uh, you know, combine the color red, gray, and you know, a little bit blue. Up. I'm not sure. I think it red, gray, something like that. It's really pretty. So that when I saw that, I wanted ultra one, but of course, I, you know, everybody ultra all different. Not exactly the same, even though the same product, right? So um, anyway, so I painted the whole. I actually put this box to get the fur before I paint it. So I, I told you guys in my previous project, I told you that I don't like the gap when you paint it and then when you glue it together, you you see all the gap. But if I glue it first and paint it later, it's, you can't really see the gap between the wood. So I just like the way how that works, okay? And I paint this all in white and then the cover paint that I used did a fresh tone, I believe, no, it's not fresh, no, I don't think that fresh tone, like, no, this color is a, see, I'm starting to get confused already, so, because I put this one away, so this is a Chelsea pink from Fort Art, I love, love, uh, Fort Art paint, acrylic paint, I love it so much, I, I have been using over and over again, guys. I after you know I I just paint this the border so do you know what if you want to use the paper you know for me I should trade this paper first but I didn't I just put the paper and then trade later it's become it's difficult <laughs> so you guys you can learn that from, uh, from my mistake okay so and then I cut the paper through here so you guys can see that you know what it called um I'm not sure what you get caught. Anyway, so um, so over here, you know what it did have four pieces coming with this right. So insert the, this one and connect. But I didn't use it. I threw it away. I I'm not sure why I designed my, this product that way. I just did. So I'm just lazy to change it now. So I just used all the pieces that came in here and you know leave it there or glue back there. And I painted in white and painted with acrylic paint. The, Seashell pink and then I stamp it. So I use Linda stamp that give it to me. Yay! Love it so much. I almost lost it, Linda. <laughs> and I use uh, spray flower spray here and sentiment. This uh, from my store. I did not do anything with it. And I use uh, flower, tiny flower right there. I am rose there. And I use my leaves to leave the small, uh, the the smallest one and then big kids one. And I use my wood house. I did not do anything with it too. And you. Got any flower from my store and some of I am roses there and this is a wood fin. This is the big one I did cut in half guys. So another half it right here. So I can use it for next project. And I did paint this in white. That's it. I didn't do anything guys. So I cluster all the flower right here to here and there. Really pretty. And this flower spray I did curve them here. See that? And I this one is gonna be a gift, so I still I'm not sure I'm gonna give it a gift, but I'm gonna give it a gift, guys. So, um, because I'm very obsession with my stuff, guys, so that way I barely give it to anybody. So this one gonna be a gift. So I just simply put the photo of Cody and uh, Evan in there. That one can be removed, but I'll show you later. So I use the paper I use. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys the paper I use the pink spelly made in the U.S. Love it. See that? I cover on that side, the bottom. 
here on the back, the dot, and on the top. For on the top, I covered the paper and I used I am roasted flowers and my telephone there. So I need to lift this one, open up, see inside. I know I should have let that one dry before I, you know, glue another part. That one is tear and it's so great. So, but you guys can see that inside box. I peeled a bit. You know what? I um, put the paper later, but because it's the box is too, you know, it's the box kind of big, so my hand can go in there. So it's not that hard for me to put the paper in there. And this one I did not glue, cut, guys. Then it's really tight. And you can see that really tight when I insert that one in there, it's stuck. So I cannot pull it off. But it's good, so I don't have to worry about. So this photo can slide in and out. See, this I did use that. See, got the photo now, so I can. So, so you don't have to glue anything. So the, the, you know, insert the photo there and stay there. You can see that. I love that. So that's it. So I'm not sure I'm gonna make album to go with this. So, but I probably will. That's a lot of work, guys. So anyway, that is the feed. You can see. All right, that's it. This video, guys. Thank you, everyone, for keep watching, and I will see you guys next video, guys. Bye, bye, guys.